Grace, it's Roy from the Homeowners Association. Oh, hi. Can you just get all those damn boxes off your porch? There are porches on my porch? Yeah, there are boxes on your porch. There are porches on my porch? Yeah, there are boxes on your porch. And it's it's making the whole street look like really poor. What? Who is it? This is Roy from the Homeowners Association. Roy? Okay. I live over in the nice area. Excuse me? What's wrong with my area? There are porches on my porch? Yeah, there are boxes on your porch. There are porches on my porch? Yeah, there are boxes on your porch. Hey, I'm going to meet you. Ma'am. Excuse I, I will me, not, sir. I will not be going out on a date with you. I'll come by and see you, okay? You need to get those damn boxes off your porch. Fucking weirdo. Hey, everybody. This is RBCP. I'm the host of the Snowplows Show. And that's the show you're listening to. It's a show about prank calls, and we're going to do prank calls today, I promise. But we've got a few things to get through here first. Uh, number one, thank you for that intro song, ZTK. For some reason, he sent that to I Regret Jumping, and I Regret Jumping emailed it to me. And he said, hey, Brad, ZTK thinks I'm your damn secretary, and to send this to you. But it's probably because I was having email problems a while back, which are all fixed now. I have email again. All of the emails work. You remember a few weeks ago when my email was kind of like VoIP.ms is today? Just all fucked up and not working. There was a bunch of problems again today with the audio of the phone calls. I think I cut all of that out of the live show. That's what you're going to hear today is a live show. But VoIP.ms is still under attack. Oh shit, I don't think I've even mentioned that on this show. I mentioned it on the last hobo so that I did. But all of the phone problems that I've been experiencing lately, the reason that Beverly Bot is down right now... I assume she's down, or at least not working that great. It's because VoIP.ms is under attack by hackers demanding a ransom. I think they want like $4 million or something, and then they'll stop DDoSing my phone company. Uh, some people have asked if it's an attack directly against me. Maybe I came across that way, but no. It has nothing to do with me. It's just the phone provider that I use is being attacked. And yesterday, I actually bought Skype credit. I was going to try using Skype until they get everything fixed over there. But I lasted, I think, maybe two calls of Skype, and I couldn't take that ringtone of Skype's. You guys know the one I mean. This fucking thing. I'm sure you guys all know this fucking thing. That Skype, for some reason, refuses to let you turn off. Or is there a way to turn that off? There used to be. Used to, you could go in and edit your sounds and make them anything you want. Sorry, I don't mean to complain this early in a show. I'm just going to shut up and start the live show. This is a show that I did on Saturday morning. I mean, around noon on Saturday. It was supposed to be morning. But I kept running into problems, technical issues. Not just the phone calls, like everything. There I go complaining again. I'm sorry. Okay, the original show was about two hours. I think I've edited this down to about one hour. And then we're going to hear some voicemails. So here it is. Here's the live show. Hey there, shitheads. This is Joe from the Dumbass Report, now available on all streaming platforms. And you're listening to The Snowplow Show. You fucking hobos. Shut the fuck up. Hello, Mark here. Boats. Hey. Hello. Mark. Yes. Calling about the boats. Yep. Uh, I'm I'm in a church service. Can you call me back in uh, or like about 8 o'clock? Uh, are, are you like in the church right now? Are you like in the lobby? Yes. Yes. Um, what is he preaching about? Uh, Jesus. Oh, weird. You wouldn't expect to hear that at a, at a church. You don't want to sell your boats, though? Like, aren't your boats more important than Jesus? No. Listen, call me back about eight. Thank uh, you. No, can you put the somebody on the phone that's around you? Yeah. I didn't really think that was going to happen. Okay, so, yeah, maybe um, for the next call, I'll have something planned instead of just screaming boats at them. Why won't any of my paid actors pick up? I mean, why won't any of the recipients pick up? Oops. Just kidding. Hello? Hey. Uh, I'm calling about your weight bench. Oh, yeah, we already got that one sold. I'm sorry. Ma'am, I'm the one that bought it. Oh, okay. I need to know why. Okay, like, you know how you, you have the little... The little pole things, the long things that you put the, the heavy weights on. Uh-huh. Yeah. How come there's a GPS tracker in that? What are you talking about? Well, I don't know. We I, I was um you know, I dropped one of the weights and a GPS tracker fell out of the little little hole thing. Hold on. 
Hold on. Where the fuck? Whoa, hey, don't curse at me, ma'am. I'm a Christian. No, 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 no. I wasn't cussing at you. I was trying to figure out. Yeah, what but the I, heck? I heard it. I'm praying for you. I wasn't cussing at you. Yeah, but you said the fuck word. I heard it. Okay. Oh, I yes, I did. I'm trying to. So, so why are you guys trying to track me though? I, I'm so confused. I'm not trying to track you. I've done, I didn't even know there was a GPS tracker in it. Yeah, it was running. Like it was one of those like uh, cylinder looking things that fits right in. It's like the perfect size to fit into your uh, weights. Are you serious? Are you trying to watch me work out? No, I'm not. I mean, first you try to watch me work out. Then no, you say I'm the, not trying to. I didn't even know it was in there. And then you use that satanic language on oh, my holy fuck. telephone. <laughs> All right. That was totally Sparkly's fault. Should I call back? I don't feel like I should call back. I, I think that's done, right? Hi, you've reached my voice. Oh, come on. I'm sorry, I cannot come. Carol needs to have a word with this lady. Hi, you've reached my voice. No, I'm sorry. That's not for sale. Hello, what the hell you want? Hey, why are you yelling at me? I was calling about your thing you had for sale. Jeez. Oh, oh my God. I mean, sorry. like, don't put your shit on the radio if you're just going to yell at everybody that calls you. I just wanted the olive green couch. And it's already gone. I know. That sucks. Yeah. When, when did when did they get it? Uh, about ten o'clock this morning. No, oh, did you yell at them too? No. Did did you answer your door I, and you're like, What the fuck do you want? Is that what you were like? Yep. Bye. That's kind of, you're kind of an asshole, sir. Hey, what could we do with the pumpkin patch? The pumpkin patch is now open. Maybe we should just call pumpkin patches all day. I don't know what to say to him though. It's open through Halloween. Hello? Hi, is this the pumpkin patch? Hello? Hello, how are you? Okay. What you up to? Uh, I'm driving tractor. Oh, what are you doing? Are you plowing the field or? No, I'm at a pumpkin patch. Oh, are you hauling kids around? Yeah. <laughs> can can you like do something scary, like like swerve the tractor or you know, be like it's, it's, it's out. Act act like you're really scared. Come on, like really give him a scare. Be like, oh my god, the steering's out of control and somebody cut the brake lines. Ah, we're headed for the woods. Ah, do it real quick. Come on, I want to hear some kids scream. No. Why not? Hey, oh man, I questions about the thing. But I guess we're just talking to some guy in his tractor. I thought it'd be I don't know. Who is this? Hey, it's Roy. I was calling about the the pumpkin patch. Roy Harder? Yes. I, I mean Yeah. Okay, no. okay, I'm sorry. It's well, a... I don't know. <laughs> I didn't recognize your voice. Now I do. Yeah, yeah, That's it's it's me. Just... Just a minute. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Oh, I'm on speaker? <laughs> yeah, I put you on the speaker. Okay, wow, it sounds really quiet for a tractor. Do you have one of those new electric tractors? No, it's a Kubota. I'm just barely idling because it's rust. Oh, I see. All right. Hey, um, can everybody hear us? No, no, I'm inside a cab. Oh, darn. I was going to... I was gonna be like, uh, I was, I was gonna talk about your alcohol, al alcoholism, and stuff in front of the kids, <laughs> just to make them think you're a terrible person. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I came out there and I got some pumpkins. Yeah. Uh, when you were closed, I came in after hours and I just stole a bunch of pumpkins. And since okay. since you know All me, right. that's okay, right? Since you know me. Yeah, that's fine. And you know that other thing that was missing? You you may have noticed that. What's that? Uh, I don't, I'm embarrassed to say, but I took it. And I'm not proud of it, but I took it. I took pumpkins. One of my pumpkins was filled with mice. That sucked. <laughs> are, are you in the habit of selling pumpkins filled with mice? <laughs> Uh, hey, you want to have phone sex? What? Do you want to have phone sex? No. 
No, it's cool. Nobody will know. You're in a cab. <laughs> the sound quality is really good over here. We yeah. we we could really go at it. <laughs> do you have to hold? Yeah. Do you have to hold um, the phone with your hand, or do you have Bluetooth? No, I have to hold my phone. Ah, it's not going to work then. Not for you anyway. <laughs> hey, why don't you hang up that phone? I'm tired of this. I got other people to call. Okay. All right. Um. All right. I love you. What the hell was that all about? I don't know. <laughs> was he talking to somebody, or was he just? Before the show's over, one of these calls are going to be funny. I swear. All right. I found another pumpkin patch. Wow. Wow, Rappy. Saying the F word. Oh, hello? Lauren Marcus. Hey, uh, I was, um, uh, th this is Steve Dave from True Green. Yeah. True Green. Um, we sent in, we, we sent one of our um, trucks over uh, the other day to your place, and it sprayed your pumpkin patch, and I needed to let you know about that. Um, they came over, and they, they sprayed your entire pumpkin patch. Why? Uh, because someone transposed some digits on the address, and we're supposed to do this uh, lady down the road, but we got your address instead. So I'm just letting you know, your pumpkin patch uh, has been has been sprayed. What? Sorry, it's hard to hear you. Can you um, put your mouth up to the phone? Hello. Oh no, you have to put your mouth up to the phone. And that way, your voice goes into it, and I hear you. Ma'am, put your mouth up to the phone. I can't hear shit. Ma'am? Ma'am? Some company called Trivia. So, what's Trivia? Well, why is she getting closer to the phone? Now, first of all, we have to go fuck off. And then he goes, "You got the wrong address." And I said, "What did you spray it with?" And he says, "Ma'am, I can't hear you." That's somebody messing with. Oddly <laughs> enough, I can hear her great right now. So I shut it off. What kind of scam is that? I sprayed my pumpkin patch. <laughs> oh, you are single now. All right, I'm getting bored with this. I gotta hang up. I feel like I should call her back and tell her she hung up improperly. And I was listening to her curse, and my kid was right here. My poor kid heard heard the f word. From that guy, ma'am, are you listening? <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Oh, she figured it out. She's like, oh shit, I didn't hang up. I feel like she's still there though. All right, for sale. Let's do some for sales. Hello. Hey, how are you? Okay. That's good. What you doing? I'm straightening out the house. I have the things that need to be put away. That That's what I'm doing. Oh, that's nice. Like, what kind of things need to be put away? Why didn't you put them away in the first place? And then you wouldn't have to spend your <laughs> Saturday <laughs> putting everything away. Who, who is this? It's Roy, your neighbor. Hey, um, oh, my son. My. What? Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go. No. You're, yeah, go ahead, Roy. Okay. Um, my son was in your backyard last night, and I just wanted to apologize for that. He shouldn't have been using your hose without your permission. Well, maybe you don't know who you're, maybe you're not talking to the right person. I don't have a hose. I'm in an apartment at...
Yeah, I know, but he was in the backyard of the apartment directly below your window. All right, look, do you have the 2006 Toyota Corolla? Well, I did have. I'm the one that bought it. What? Me and my family, we bought it. Oh. Yeah. It was your family that bought it. And yeah. Yeah, your your parents were here. Mhm. Mhm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so my son um he got into the car, you know, he's only like 11 and he drove it around town. And I don't know. They should have like child proofing or something in there. He shouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> well, I I didn't know that your your parents had a son at home, right? Yeah. Oh, well, not at home. Like it would be their grandson, my son. Well, the, yeah. Their okay, grand- their grandson. Duh. And he got into the he got into the Toyota. Yes, that's what happened. And what happened? And he had a garden hose. Yeah, there was a garden hose involved. Uh, he was he was going around siphoning gas. Well, he sounds like an ornery boy. Well, no, I think it's your Toyota's fault. Why? And then, so the real reason I'm calling is because under the driver's seat, you know, like right, right in the driver's seat, right in the front, like underneath the seat, ma'am, yeah. there's so many boogers. Like who was wiping their boogers underneath the seat? There, there's what Booger, under there? Boogers. Like someone was picking their nose and wiping their boogers under the seat. And now, man, uh, that's gross. I think you're trying. You're you're not making any sense no, to me. No, I yeah, We bought the 2006 Toyota, and it's a good car, uh, even though my son took off in it. But it's a little gross when we reach under the front seat and there's just a bunch of boogers under there. Nobody's nobody did anything. Nobody was putting anything under there that I know of. No, they're, they're boogers. You know what a booger is, right? They're they're picking their nose and wiping their nose under the seat. That's gross. That was never that never happened in that car. Are you sure it wasn't your husband? No. He what? Pro- he probably wouldn't admit it if he picked his nose. Oh, um, my husband never was in that car. He passed away years ago. Oh, I see. I'm sorry to hear that. No, so no, you... nobody put any boogers. If if there was anything under the cushion, the seat, it may have been from, um, uh, you know, like um, from Casey's, uh, you know, paper towels wiping the windows or oh, yeah. something like that. Man, you should have used some of those paper towels to wipe your boogers on instead of on the seat. That's gross. No, yeah. You're not making any sense to me. Well, I it makes less it it doesn't make sense to me that you'd wipe your boogers underneath the seat. I mean, just buy <laughs> buy like a little nobody nobody of, did that. Keep nobody a thing of did that. Kleenex in the car, and it's you know just just as good. It's just less gross that way. Uh, well, it 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 didn't happen when I had the car. Oh, were so you? So I don't know what happened to were you, it. Were you the first it, owner? No, no way. Hmm. Uh-uh. So you're trying to blame your boogers on somebody? They seem like no. fair, like well. Relative- I, I think you're trying to play a joke or something. No, why? Why would I joke? Uh, what's your name? Roy. It looks like somebody oh, yeah. blew their nose directly onto the seat, which no, doesn't even no. seem possible. Unless you get out of the car. No, what's your what's your last name? Gerbel, common spelling. Oh well, the lady that bought the car's last name was Smith. Yeah, but guess what? I got married, and my last name changed. <laughs> Duh. Yeah, well. Plus, she was my stepmom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know about this hose. What, you're talking about a hose in the backyard? Yeah, well, that was just my son. He, he He's ornery. Well, I don't... Uh, does he live back here, back of the apartment? Yeah, well, he was just um, in the car when we came to pick up the Toyota, and he just remembered how to get there. So he took your car, and he drove it back to your apartment, and he had a hose with him, and he's laying out in the back behind the apartment, smoking his marijuana. He's a mess. Well, I feel sorry for him. Oh, I don't. I mean, he seems like he's having a good time. 
He loves marijuana. But, um, yeah, I was just mainly concerned about the boogers. Like, uh, I hope you don't do that at your home and in your current car and everywhere else, because that's gross. No, it, it didn't happen with me, because there, there never was anything like that in my car. You're not going around wiping your boogers, like, on the curtains and stuff, are you? Well, I'm too busy to talk to you, but you Whoa. do sound like you know something about my, my car that I used to have. Yeah, and I know a thing or two about boogers, too. <laughs> well, I don't even have a coal. I don't know where the boogers could have come from. Oh, these are dried up boogers. They've been there for a while. I mean, they're relatively oh. new. Well, but, well, I know there was a lot of stuff in my car trunk that your parents helped get out, but there weren't any boogers there. If you know what I mean, right? Am I right? <laughs> no, no. Oh, no, I, I'm too busy to talk to someone that doesn't make any sense. Ma'am. Goodbye. Next, next time. All okay, right, I was trying to tell her I regret jumping. Pick and flick. That's what you do. You got to roll down your window. Flick that thing out the window. Uh, thank you, Devin, for the initial booger idea, since my other two ideas were completely terrible and did not work out. Raggedy Ann dolls for sale. Uh, a circuit machine. I want a circuit machine. What the fuck's that? Looking for a VCR. So I could trade my Raggedy Ann dolls for a VCR. Wait, no. Hello. Hi. It's Roy. How you doing? Hey. I don't know any Roy's. Oh, yeah, I don't know you either. Like, Well, then why are you calling? Uh, well, I was calling for your Raggedy Ann dolls. Which one? I, why are you so angry with me? I mean, geez, I'm just I'm calling this number that I saw on the radio just to get some Raggedy Ann okay. dolls for my kids. Okay. And I have a VCR. I was hoping we could make a trade. No, I already got two VCRs oh, this God. morning. Two, Sorry. What, are, what are you going to do with two VCRs? Are you going to copy tapes? That's illegal, ma'am. Not if you got two tapes. What? what do you do? Which kind of Raggedy Ann do you need? Um. Well, like, what do you mean, what kind? I thought there was just... Two. Well, I have Raggedy Ann's from all over the world. Oh, I see. Um, I have a room that is full of raggedy. Ants. How come when I first called you were so angry? Like you were just, you were just uh, sir, yelling I'm busy. at me. And you're got... like, I don't know you, and I was just trying to buy a raggedy <laughs> and all. Oh, I don't know you, and you don't know me. I know, but the way you said it, like you made me feel like really insignificant, and it hurt my feelings. Well, if you don't want to talk to me, goodbye. But I want the raggedy and dolls. I didn't know what to do with raggedy and dolls. And who collects Raggedy Ann's from all over the world? Is that what turned her into such a huge bitch? Hello? Hey, how are you? It's Roy. Oh? Uh, yeah, how are you, uh, how are you doing? Me? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm all right. <laughs> I, I've got Driving like... Driving home from work. Oh, cool. Like, you, got, you must have worked early. Uh, I go in about nine nine thirty, and I just work four or five hours, and that's it. I only do it three times oh, a week, you're, so you're living the dream. Well, no, I just I can't stand retirement. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've got Couldn't two, stand retirement. I've got two Raggedy Ann dolls here, and I'm sewing them hmm. together to make a Raggedy Ann monster. Okay. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> Why are you going to sew them together? <laughs> I'm sewing them together right now. That's what I'm doing while I'm on the phone. I want to make oh, like okay. a, a human centipede Raggedy Ann and Andy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that okay. is? Do you know what a human centipede yeah. is? Mm -hmm. Do you know what a human centipede is? Have you, well, no. Have you I'd rather not even think about that. <laughs> You should watch the movie Human Centipede. It's really good. It's a nice family flick. I uh, don't think so. Not my type of thing. <laughs> okay, just, 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 <laughs> just a suggestion. Um, uh? It's just a suggestion. 
Uh, oh, I was well, I was in your yard last night. You were in my yard last night. Yeah, I thought it was daytime. Uh, yeah, I just I got confused and started wandering around back there. In my yard. Yeah, in your backyard. What were you doing in my backyard? Um, I laid down for a while because I got tired. But your phone call is in Oregon. How are you in my yard? <laughs> oh, well, I used to live in Oregon, but I moved. Oh. Um, yeah. Okay. But, yeah. You know, that's what it says. So now I live close by. Mm. Yep. Hey? Hey, what? <laughs> okay. No, I'm driving. I'm trying to pay attention to what I'm doing here. <laughs> oh, okay. How long do you have to go? Always. All right. Um, how fast are you going right now? Very slow. I'm following a bus. Let's see if you can get up to 100. No. Why not? I did that when I was younger. <laughs> how did it turn out? Huh? How did it turn out? It's okay. I was racing my husband's car. So. Oh, you didn't crash it. That's good. <laughs> no, it didn't crash it. Uh, anyway, I'm just calling about that small drop leaf table. I saw it on the uh, yes. swap shop. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's got the leaves with it and everything? It has no leaves. It has just, it's a small table that makes a total of 40 inches. The leaves are up. The leaves? Uh, when it's down, it's like 24. It's its all connected. It, there's not a leaf. It's just drop leaf. It's got, it, they're attached to the table. Oh, I see. It's just like a small breakfast type table with two chairs. I bought it, and then when I got it, then I went a different way and ended up remodeling my kitchen. So, Have they got good hinges on them? Well, it's like new. I bought it at Sleep Shop in Hutch, and I used it one time. Would it support the um, weight of a dead body? <laughs> Why would it want to support a dead body? No, just the weight <laughs> of a dead body. Like, if I put a dead body on it and put both of the leaves up... And you know, well, the, I'd hope you wouldn't. I hoped you wouldn't. That would be very gross thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's probably, but I'm just saying, would it? I have no idea. Like a dead body. I've with never the, put uh, the leaves open. Like um, the the mass of the whole thing is going to be distributed throughout. I think most of it will go on the table. Well, it's but, forty inches round, so figure that one out. Oh, that's not very. <laughs> that's like less than four feet. This this guy is like. Almost like over five feet. <laughs> I'm not doing an autopsy on the floor, ma'am. Oh, gosh. Um, oh, man. Yeah. What? Yeah, it's small. It's not very big. Oh, that's good. Uh, so, um, do you have, I pay 300. Mm -hmm. Do you have that metal what? rack? For the back of a Middle small rack. Ford Ranger pickup. Oh, the Ford Ranger. Yes, I do. I don't need it's that. The Ford. Okay. Well, yeah, fine. not not interested. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for calling anyway. <laughs> um. So no, no on the dead body thing. No, but no dead body. Please. How much for just the mounting hardware on that metal rack? You know, just screws and what? washers. Yeah, just stuff. I have no idea. Part of it's still in the truck. I haven't even taken it off yet. I just bought the truck this year. So. Can you take it off? And, like, I don't want the rack itself, but can I just have the screws? No. Why? Just because i got to go. I've got a cop following me. I don't want him to catch me before using my phone Oh, here. God. <laughs> Hang up the phone right now. Quick. Oh, I wanted to say bye to her at least. Jeez. All right. All of my practice calls from the first hour of the show are done with that. Now it's time to get started with the show. I'm going to de delete everything that's happened. We're going to get started. Yeah, so the meetups, it's um, November 6th or something. It's uh, They're just, they're just um, going to show up at this gaming convention and hopefully they will meet each other. This is Michael. Sorry, I cannot come to the phone right now. So the gaming convention is not theirs, obviously, but... They're just going to go to the gaming convention, and you got to pay your entrance fee, but then the prank call meetup itself is free. You just go find them and hang out. It'll be a good time. I would do it if there wasn't a pandemic. I would really like to go out there. But no. 
I like living. I'm positive Dragon Mirror has COVID. He just seems like that type, you know? Hey. Hello. What, why'd you just sit there? I didn't hear you say hello before. You're just sitting there. I didn't. I've got this lock thing that came up on my phone, and it makes my whole um, front of my phone turn black, oh and my. I can't see nothing. Whoa, what happened? Unless, like, why does it do that? Like, I, don't, I don't know. I, it, was, uh, I went to use my phone one day, and here it was on there. I, I, I don't know how to get it off. You should just wipe your phone. Just wipe the whole thing and start over. I can't do that. Let, let's figure out how to reset it right now. Let's do a hard reset and, and, and erase all your data. No, 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 no. I got too much stuff on my phone. Yeah, but you know. I don't want to do it. But it's, it's like a fresh start, you know? Sometimes you just need no. to burn it all down no, and start no. over. No, I can't do that. I've got too, too many important things on my phone. Like what? So. Like what? Okay, who are you? Uh, this is Roy, your neighbor. What? This is Roy, your neighbor. You know Roy? Ma'am? Uh-uh. Roy, it's Roy. Willie? Yeah, Willie. Your neighbor. I don't know no Willie. Oh, well that's me. Uh, I was calling about those canning jars. Oh. Uh, any size? You looking for canning jars with the with the screw on lid? Yeah. How many do you need? Uh, just about all I can get. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't have a single one. I've never had a canning jar in my entire life. Can't help you. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you anyway. Wish I could help. Uh, I just don't have canning jars. Okay, well, you have a good day. I also don't have the lids for them, and I don't have those little gold things that you put in the lids. <laughs> okay, bye. Yeah, I don't have the jars or the lids. I'm sorry. Um, hey, okay. I, I was in your yard last... Hey, come on. Why are you hanging up on me? This looks familiar. It's a country boy yard sale. Devin, didn't you do a country boy yard sale? Oh, wait, maybe I'm thinking of the Dragon Mirror show. Somebody... Did a country boy yard sale recently. Maybe it was me. Yeah, hello. Hey, I was at your yard sale earlier. Yes, it went good. We've had a good day, I reckon, today. Yeah, no, I was there earlier. I was at your yard sale uh -huh. over there in 266. Uh -huh. Right, uh-huh. I was there. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. I just, um, I had something to tell you. Hey, what's going on? Um, well, I, I was just, uh, I probably shouldn't have been going into the house when I was at your yard sale. I'm sorry about that. I really, you had, went I really had, I had to urinate. I'm so sorry. That's all right. And I didn't know where the bathroom was. So I just peed in that jar. On the, t on the, okay. on the, con the container, you know, on the shelf. Okay. I'm sorry. No problem. That's all right. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't get mad. I'm not mad, but all right. I'm not bad. I said it's not a problem. Okay, I'm gonna come okay. back. I'm gonna come back in a little bit. Oh, we're closed now. Yeah, but I'm gonna come back anyway. Like, do you have stuff out still? No, sir. Is it we, in the, we're we're closed for the night? Is it in the we're garage? For the night. There was a couple things I saw that I wanted. Uh, so I'm gonna come on over. I'm gonna come back. Are you putting it in the garage? Sir. sir. We put everything in the warehouse. Everything's closed up for the night. We'll be back over there tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm saying, is it locked? Yes. We're not going to leave anything open. Can you just leave it unlocked? Yes, I'm, sir. I'm not going to steal anything. Just no. let, let me go in. No. Sir, sir, we closed at uh, 4.30 or 4.15 today. We went home. We're, I'm at home now. My partner's at home. We'll be back open again at 8 o'clock in but, the morning. But I had to work during most of it, so I didn't have a lot of time to come out there, and I forgot my wallet. So i just going to come uh, here, in, here in a little bit. No, there's nothing There's nothing you can look at right now. But you're going to be there, right? Out. Are, are you going to be there? No, we are at home. No, we are at home. I came to my house. Jack went to his house. Are there any windows open? We don't have windows. It's a warehouse. Okay. Well, I, how sure would I? The same? How would I know that? You yeah, said no, you were. I was there at the warehouse. You said you were at our set. Yeah. 
we, you said you were at our warehouse. Yeah. We have a big garage door. We have a wooden door, our uh, regular door. Them two are open today. They're okay. closed now. I, I didn't inspect. I didn't inspect the entire perimeter. I didn't know there weren't windows. Sorry. Yeah, that's all right. But we're closed now. We will be open again tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm coming tonight. No, we're closed tonight. I'm in my car. We are closed. I'm hey. getting ready to start driving. Every, yeah, but everything is closed up. Can, can you just everything meet, is closed. Just meet me over there. No. Why? We can't meet you over there. I live, because I live 14 miles from it. My partner <laughs> lives almost 10. How far away and is we're it? there from 8. We're, we're there at 8 o'clock in the morning. Well, tell Jack to, we'll to go back. Like call. Let's put Jack on three no, way. Jack, what's what's his phone number? Is he the nine four one number? Jack 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 ain't Jack ain't gonna go back either. We're closed for the evening. Okay, I was we'll be back over at eight o'clock in the morning. Is he the nine four one number? Yeah, but he he won't okay. be there. He's yeah, I was trying to call him. Gonna go out to eat with. I was trying to call him a minute he's ago. He's probably to go out to eat with his wife. But no, we're closed for now. How long we're have closed. you? How long have you and your partner been married? We're not married. He's married to the lady that's inside the shed. I am oh. married to a lady over here at my well, house. You said partner, so it was okay. a little confusing. Yes, partner in business. Okay. Uh, so which one are you going to be there tonight? I'm. I'm uh, neither I'm, one of us. I'm, I'm just neither about one of us are, 25 minutes out. Neither one of No, neither one of us are there tonight. We are closed. We I, went home. We put everything up. I, okay. We closed it. We locked it up, and we left. I have a small problem. I, le- mm-hmm. I left my cat there. I got so distracted well, by the but, by the pee. And he, my cat's inside the warehouse. I'm, so, I'm sorry. It'll have to wait till tomorrow. Oh well, no! We'll it, there's, there no there's no food in there. I don't want the cat to drink my pee. No, uh, we we'll be back over there at eight o'clock in the morning. Hey, when when so I you want to come by when eight o'clock? I, you want to come what, by at eight what, in the morning? What, what, we'll be what, there. When I come by tonight to pick up my cat, can I just buy one thing? That there's nobody going to be there. The building is locked and it's closed. Yeah, but my cat's in there. No, your cat is not in there because we were all in there. We have been walking around that warehouse all eight day long. There's no cat inside there. Yeah, but my cat no. hides. My cat like gets under tables and I'm stuff sorry, and just hides. I'm sorry, sir, but no. Nobody s- will be there tonight. Tomorrow we will skittish. be there at 8 o'clock. You want to you come see us at 8 o'clock in the morning? Come see us at 8. What, what kind we're of, not there now and we're not going to be open now. What kind of locks on the garage door? Sir, it is a warehouse. It is not a, gu- a garage. It is a warehouse. Well, you said there was a big now door, then. a big garage door. That's You know what that, I mean by a that's garage. A, that's the lift-up door, sir. The lift-up door. If you door. go down there, Do you, sir, does that have if to you be go th- down there, sir, if you go down there, the police will get you. Because we are not going to have you on the property tonight. Oh, I own the police. You can come back at 8 o'clock. You can come back at 8 o'clock in the morning. I own the police. I'm not going to deal cool. with you now. Um, but, but no, but is, is there, with you no more. on the lift up door, is, no, there, is there even I'm a done. lock? Does it have to be open from yes. the inside or can you unlock it from the yes, outside? Yes, it does. Everything does, sir. So, so now, what, I'm going to tell you this one, I'm going to tell you this one more time. We're closed. You want to come by at 8 o'clock in the morning? Come back. If you don't, that's up to you. But we're not doing this tonight. Can I just window shop? Okay. Can I just window shop? No. No, it is closed. It is locked up. At the windows? So, that is it, sir. No, I'm done dealing with you. On, you don't want to come by tonight. <laughs> at my, at my, on my garage door at my house, you can just reach your fingers under the bottom and yank it up, and it'll just come right up. Sir, what? If you go in that where go in that lot tonight, and anything is missing, the police will tell you. Oh no, I would leave money that, if I took I, anything. I would leave the money that the price that's on it. I'm an honest sir, person. Sir, I'm done dealing with you. I'm not dealing with you. I've told you we're close. All and right. if you're not willing to listen to that, okay. then you can wait ahead and... One last but thing, though. One, one, one last thing, just before we hang up. Um, mm-hmm. I, I'm actually a prank caller, and I live in Oregon. So I, I've never been there. I was just making a prank call. I'm sorry. I know. I know. Because if you've been there, you are known for a fact that... Uh, okay, I'm we just kidding a, about the prank call. I'm kidding open. about the prank call. I actually was there. My cat's in there. Please. Let me get my cat. No, your cat is not. Your cat is not in there because we were there all day long. I'm gonna call Jack. We walked across it. You go ahead and call Jack all you want. Okay, hold on. All right. I'm putting him on three way. Here, here he comes. Oh, okay. He he hung up. Thank God. That was seven minutes of him saying no to me. And Jack's not picking up. Darn. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Oh yeah. Oh man. I should have left a message for Jack. 
Somebody's asking about King Richard. Uh, no, I don't really talk to him anymore. Uh, but I still listen to his show and it's still awesome. Everybody else should. I think I talked to him on Twitter like six months ago, maybe. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Okay. That's good. Good to hear. Yep. And? Uh, I was calling about that large ceiling fan with four lights. Yes. Is that still available? Yes, it is. It's a good size fan. I'm not sure, but it's a lot bigger than what I needed. What's it measure? Uh, hang on a second. Let me... Is it on the ceiling still? Can you turn it on? No, 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 no. It's... I had to get a smaller one. Oh, you said it was big. You said it was large. Yeah, yeah. It was really too large for what I needed, so... I see. Why don't you just turn it on low speed, then? Pardon? Why don't you just turn it on low speed? Well, it, let's see. Let me tell you the... Um, does it have wires sticking out of it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have all the stuff that goes to it okay, to go to is, the ceiling. Okay, this is going to be really easy. I need you to tie the black and the blue wires together, and we're going to stick those into uh, um, one of the outlets, you know, on your, uh, on your wall. I, that's something I can't do. This thing is too big for me to handle. Oh, yeah, I'll just uh, take the blades off real quick. Then it'll be easier to part around. <laughs> no, no, no. Can't I, do that. I just want to make sure it spins. I know it spins. I know it spins because I can I can spin it right here on, on you know, where I have it. Well, yeah, I know you, it does. you can spin it, but does the motor work? If the motor is out... Yes, it does. It was working. The only thing is that it was too heavy for... I live in a mobile home. Hmm. And it was too heavy for the the thing. So my my son got a lighter one and a smaller one because it was in the bedroom. Do you think it worked? I work? have the bigger ones in the other room. Do you think it would work with a Ford Focus? Oh, yeah. Like inside? Yeah, I mean, it's, like I say, it's all working. It looks like it's brand new because, mm -hmm. I mean, it's not. And I know it was I know it was working when uh, he replaced it with the smaller one because I didn't need one that big in the bedroom. Can you just grab the wires and drag it over to a... An outlet uh, by no, the way. I'm, I can't. I can't do that, sir. I've got it laying on my on oh. my bed. Oh no! I have the perfect solution for that. Do you have paper clips? We're going to string a bunch of paper clips together and then <laughs> stick those. No. First, the... no. You know, I, like I say, it's as is. I know it works. I'm not going through all this crap. What crap? I can't do it. Oh, I'm going to be eighty plugging? and I can't lift this thing. Hmm. So, I mean, uh, you're more so, than welcome to come over and take a look at it and try it to look, see if it works. So, $75. But I know it does. So, oh, can, can, I, can I come over and, and plug all the wires into electrical outlets? Yeah. Really? Into your electrical outlets? If you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'm you, gonna, can, you can check to see if it works. Okay. I, but I know it does. I'm just going to take those wires, you know, those frayed wires. I'm just going to stick them in the wall. Yeah, well. There's probably going to be sparks. Well, circuit breakers are going to trip. You ain't going to burn my place down, are you? I don't know. I've never done well, anything like that. Yeah, you ain't going to do it then. <laughs> I don't know much about electricity, <laughs> to be honest. Look, it, I know it works. I don't know. Like I say, it's it's as is. I have the four lights that go on mm -hmm. it, and I know it worked. It worked when I when my son took it off and put the smaller one in. And that's it. Is I he, am not going through any of that crap. I'm he, not going to end up having a power failure or blowing the circuits on me just to test the damn thing. It ain't worth it. Okay, I'll settle down. It first. Jeez, okay, settle down. Uh, is your son a certified electrician? Oh, Jesus Christ. No, he's not. Okay, well. And I have no problem with my other one working he okay. took that one down and just took the wires off what the hell is this i mean it's, I'm actually, it's a ceiling fan i'm actually calling from uh the the, the comptroller's office here in and yeah. um, i was calling to find out if uh you used a certified electrician to get rid of your old fan and um, you just admitted to me on the phone that you didn't no i didn't so, Why? Yeah. what are you gonna do well we're gonna have to ask you to uh take that old fan down because that's an unauthorized change in your home the well, then, no, I'm saying the old fan is as in your current fan, because that's going to be your old fan, and oh, your bullshit. old fan there is... Nothing, not, there's nothing wrong with it. Don't give me that kind of crap. I know, but you, this was an unauthorized uh, modification uh, to your home wh wh by you somebody from? that doesn't know from? how to use electricity. Oh, 
how to use electric. Oh, Jesus Christ, I... <laughs> That thing has been up for about three, four months. I haven't had a bit of bother with it yet. It's basically a communist modification, ma'am. Oh, shit. Is your Forget son- it! Oh, my God. She was, like, more animated than Beverly. That was amazing. I was getting, I was getting ready to tell her I wasn't interested. And, and I was just going to go on to the next thing in the list. She's over her own. Her wind allotment? What? <laughs> that lady is pretty awesome. All right, so um, let me try her right back. As Carol, I haven't had a single uh, Carol callback workout. But you know what? I think I can quit the show now, right? That was funny. Hello, Mia? Hello. Hello. Oh, hi. This is Carol from uh, the <laughs> comptroller's office. From the where? The comptroller's office and uh we're just gonna need you uh looks like i've got a report here that you may have installed a oh, unauthorized Lord, Christ, don't tell me they're gonna do this about a goddamn fucking ceiling fan ma'am don't curse at me i'm a christian and it's almost sunday well, you know what so ain't night now what the hell other people put their fans up and don't have a bit of bother now all of a sudden they're calling saying that i have to have i gotta take it down because Baloney! But it's, there isn't nothing wrong with that. People put up their own fans all the time. Ma'am, it's just that your son's an idiot and he doesn't know how to do electricity. Oh, yes, he does. But, My but son does know how to do it or it wouldn't be working, would it? But he's not a certified electrician, ma'am. No. <laughs> Since when the hell do you have to have always have an electrician? I know a lot of people that have this stuff done and they don't have an electrician that does it. I, oh, do they okay, have a I'm, problem with I'm, it? I'm, I'm you gonna need, call everybody? Ma'am, I'm going to need the names and phone numbers of all of those people that you know that have had well, an Well, guess what? Don't hold your hand on your ass till you get them. <laughs> okay. Don't hold my hand on my ass till I get them. I don't even understand that one. Wow, she was awesome. What an awesome lady. <laughs> you know, I know somebody in New York. They did some un- unauthorized plumbing. And the city came by. Uh, what were they doing? I forget what they were doing, but uh, they noticed the unauthorized change in the house somehow. And they're like, you need to take this bathroom out of your basement. Nobody authorized this. Or there was a basement, but they never filed the paperwork to change their bathroom. All they did was like put in a new shower or something. It's a bunch of bullshit. All right, time to, time to end the show. It's over. Hello? Hey! It's Roy. Hello? It's Roy! It's, it's Roy. Roy, are you in the car? No, I'm in the house. What are you doing in there? It sounds like what? there's a lot of background noise. Yeah, we're watching TV. What are you watching? The game? No, um... Cartoons? No. Crime shows? Uh, Have Gun Will Travel. Is that One a mo- dead or alive? Oh, is that a movie? What's what's it about? Yeah. Who, who's in it? Is it that Bon Jovi it's, movie? No, it's over with now. Oh <laughs> shoot! Yeah. Uh, we gotta wait four minutes. What's what comes on next? That's it. It's over with. Yeah, but what's on next? What are you gonna watch next? Oh, we're gonna go for a ride down to the woods, me and the old lady. What are you gonna do there? We're gonna go look for deer. Oh, do you call her uh, an old lady to her face? Oh, yeah. She's right here. Oh, that's so rude. We're, we're both old. When's the last time you wined and dined her instead of calling her an old lady? Oh, every day if I get a chance. But then you call her an old lady? Yep. Anyway, uh, I'm calling from the comptroller's office here. In- You're calling from what? Uh, the comptroller's office with the city, with the yeah. county. Hey, yeah. uh, we noticed you still have one of those tube TVs in your house. You're going to need to upgrade that to one of those flat TVs because those use up too much energy. You're contributing to... No, we ain't to... got one of them. No, no. Everything we, we got are flat screens. Sir, we drove the van by and, and we can tell. We can tell what kind of TV you have in there by the amount of radiation it gives off. No, we all we got is flat screens. We don't have a two TV in the house. No, you got a console TV. You got a big console TV in your living room. We we checked. We ain't had one of them in ten years. We drove by with years. a van. 
can't help that. I got an antenna up. But sir, I use the sir, you on. need to stop lying to me and buy a modern TV. I've got the modernest one they got. <laughs> Cost twenty eight hundred dollars. Was it four K? Uh, four or five, something like that. But that's all right. Goodbye. What, no, don't hang up. Because yeah. if I have another complaint, another concern, I mean, if he paid two thousand dollars for a TV, he's just bad with his money. Snappy, are you doing an after show? Answer me right now. I command you to answer me, lady. If you do Mixler, I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to your Mixler and edit. I'm gonna listen to you and edit, and it's gonna mess me up. You guys, I think I am gonna finish up though. Uh, you know, I'm a little worn out from all that, all that fixing things this morning. I meant to to do a a long show like and be done by noon or something. Like two right now. Where's all the yard sa Oh, here's a yard sale. Found yard sale. Uh, till 2 or 3 p.m. It's past that time in Florida. We'll see if they pick up. What can I say to a yard sale? Quick. Because you know, if you don't give me ideas, I'm just going to say I peed on something. Oh. Hi, I can't come to the phone. Never right mind. Now. Forget it. But the good news is that Snappy Bakes is going to do a show immediately after mine. She said she was. I don't know if she is. You can't trust Snappy. And then tonight, um, Dwight's going to be on the air. Saturday night, Dwight. That starts around 7 over on his Mixler and his YouTube yard sale. Every Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That sounds like a, uh, not a yard sale. More like a business. I had a call from the comptroller's office. And tell them to cut that out. Okay, here's one. Here's a real yard sale. They're selling a wedding dresses. They're selling wedding dresses. Like multiple how many times you been married, lady? Quick. Ideas. Okay, here's somebody calling me back. Let's see what this is. Hello. Hello? Hello? I had a missed call from you. Oh, yeah. I was trying, I was trying to call you. Why, why, yes. didn't, why didn't you pick up? What were you doing? I'm working. Where are you working at? I'm moving from a house to house. Who is this? Uh, it's Carol. Carol Gersberms. Carol Gersberms? Yeah, Gersberms with an M. Okay. M Do is a mnemonic. You? What? Do I know you? Uh, no. No, I, you had that thing for sale? You, what you put, thing was it? On the radio. You put the thing for sale on the radio. I was looking to buy something. That's what I mean. What were you trying to buy? Maybe I have it. I don't know. I've called a bunch of people today. I'm trying to call, buy a refrigerator. I have a refrigerator. Where do you live? You know where the Dairy Queen is? Uh-huh. Yeah. Right back there. Kind of behind it. Um, do you need a refrigerator that's running? Yeah. Well, then you'll have to go catch it. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> uh, let, let, let Lady Cat Lady gave me that joke. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah. Uh. Okay, well, thank you. What? Well, you don't want the refrigerator? No. Why not? You, you said you wanted a refrigerator. Now you away. don't want one? Yeah, it ran away. Oh. <laughs> okay, thanks. Oh, don't hang up. I, we're going to make a we're going to call up this uh yard sale in Providence. Hold on. Don't hang up. It's ringing. It's ringing. Okay, he hung up. Quick, what do I do with the yard sale? Tell me. Hurry. Your call has been forwarded to Never an mind. automated voice. Again. Hello? Hey. Yeah. It's Roy. Pardon me? It's Roy. So you needed somebody to repair a car port? Car port, yes. Yeah. Yeah, did you find, oh, you, find anyone to do that? 
No, not I haven't yet. Do oh. you, are you familiar with the reports? Oh no, no, I don't have tools, and I've never fixed anything in my life. Oh well, that's good. Yeah, yeah, I can't help you. Wish I could. <laughs> Wish I. Hey, so, I th- thought you were gonna hang up on me. What? Who am I talking to? Oh, this is Roy. Roy who? Roy is your bell. Yes, and where are you calling from, Roy? I'm um, in Trenton. You know where the Dairy Queen oh, is? It says Oregon on your phone. Yeah. Why well, did you call me? Well, you know, I, I used to live in Oregon, and yeah. crazy thing, I moved to Trenton, and I kept my phone number. Can you believe it? I got a Wisconsin number. <laughs> oh, so why why are you bitching about my, my weird Oregon number? Well, I'm wondering why you called me. Why did you call? Oh, because uh, I was calling to let you know I don't know how to repair carports, and I don't have any tools. Also, oh, I have... Did I call you back? Oh, no, no, I'm calling you. Uh, you you advertised on the radio? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, not only do I not have tools, and I don't know how to repair your carport, if I did know how, I probably still wouldn't do it. Why? N- not even if you paid me, because I'm just a busy person. Like, I wouldn't have time. And, what do you do? Uh, I, I work in an office. I just sit at a desk all day. Never done a, Never done anything with my hands. So you're just making a stupid call? Is that what you're doing? Well, it's not a stupid call. It's it's like a very serious <laughs> call. And I'm calling to let you know I don't know how to repair carports. Well, why, would I, why would I care if you knew or not? You're, I don't know you. Well, now and you don't know me. Now you do. What you know, do I, I, I work in an office and I have no skills with tools. Well, good. So like, now you got to call somebody else and tell me your problem. Well, no, I'm not going to do that. Why would I do that? Well, why did you bother to call me? I don't give a damn if you have no tools well, or do, no skills. Do you have tools, like to fix your carport? Yes, I was a contractor for 50 years. I can okay. fix if you, most anything. If, if, if I were to come over and you loaned me those tools, your carport would look like uh, something that the little rascals built. It'd be, it'd be like right. the, the so clampets. Why bother, so why did you bother to call me? Well, you I, have nothing to I have no why building skills, me? sir. If you would have hired me, to do this, I, it would have looked like garbage. Yeah, but I wouldn't hire you because you're a moron. Well, that's not nice. Why are you mm-hmm. calling me a moron? I didn't call you names. Well, that's not a name. It's it's a description of who you are. It's kind of like you're calling me a name. Yeah, no, you are a moron, an idiot. Hey, don't you know the American English language? You don't know. I uh, you know that's familiar. You have a small no, vocabulary. I'm also, I, uh, yeah, I'm. I'm also don't have a very good vocabulary. I'm not good with tools. I'm not good at speaking. Okay, well, you, I'm not good at you, comprehension. You know what? You know what this means. What? Fuck you. What? <laughs> Why would you say that, sir? <laughs> That was so I'm telling you, the fucking phone and don't bother me. But anymore. why? Why would hey. you be so mean? I'm a complete stranger. I, I don't even know you. You're, you're saying the fucking F- stupid asshole. You're saying the fuck. I don't know why. why you're you saying the me. fuck Hang word up. to me. You know what? That kind of makes kind of makes you. Prick. Yeah, but you're an asshole. Hey, my poor virgin ears. I've been broadcasting for two hours. You know what that means? That means fuck you, everybody. Fuck you. I'm sorry, that guy's a bad influence. I shouldn't have said that. Uh, I appreciate you all being around and stuff. I don't know if Snappy was serious, but she said she was going to do a show. Everybody listen to Snappy. Mixler.com slash Snappy. Snappy, I order you to post your link in the chat room. Oh, Snappy hyphen bakes. Go there, everybody. Wait for an hour. I'm going to end the show. But by end the show, I think I'm going to do some editing. So basically, I'm going off the air. Thanks for listening, everybody. You can stick around if you want and listen to the entire show again as I edit. I'm going to wait for the next show to start, which will probably be snappy in 45 minutes or so. What's his face is on tonight? Dwight, right after the snappy show. Dwight's doing a uh, post snappy show, the after show. That's what she's doing. All right. So, uh, yeah, music and I've got stuff to do and I'm probably going to log off the stream soon and goodbye. Here's, here's music. This is goodbye music. Hi, Brad. 
it's Teen Wolf Jesus. Hey, Hopefully Teen you can Jesus. hear me. I'm driving and going to kind of a shitty area. But anyway, yeah. I've been reading the Four Losers of America book. Um, it's mm-hmm. amazing. And Is it? I, was, I was making a progress, but once I got to the chapter with all the, uh, the, the TXT files, like I've actually stopped. I've gone on and I found all those messages from that BBS board or whatever it's called. Yeah. And I just have a quick question for you about it. Um, I would love to know uh, some of the stories about you know uh, getting on the Fred Meyer's paging system. I like you, you describe mm-hmm. a little bit of it in the book about some of the shit you said, but like isn't that an entire section of the book, like a chapter? Can you talk like? Sorry, you what? be on that paging system for like two or three hours at a time, and they couldn't interrupt you. Like it was seriously like that; you couldn't shut it off. Oh, Can you yeah. tell me about that or tell stories about that? Thanks. I feel like I've told all the stories. It's like in the book. Back in 1994, I figured out that you could get on the overhead paging system at a Fred Meyer store, which is like a Walmart store, but in the Northwest. And I don't know why, but they could not throw us off the system. They couldn't do anything to get rid of us. Once we were on their system, we were just on it as long as we wanted to be on it. And that's about all there is to it. I kind of suck for never recording any of this. I mean, we didn't have video cameras back then. I mean, I didn't anyway. Those were expensive in the 90s. But I could have at least done something with audio. I could have gotten some reactions. I could have made more prank calls. We did that amazing part where we pretended to be the newspaper and interviewed security while they were being broadcast in the store. I hate that I never got that on tape. But I think everything there is to say about it was said in the book. Hey, Brad. This is Brad. Hey. Listen to those crickets. Brad. Okay, thanks for the voicemail. Those sure were some crickets. You know what's weird about the whole Fred Meyer thing? I still go there occasionally for groceries, and in every single Fred Meyer store, they still have those same phones. And you can't get on the overhead paging system like that now. Maybe not remotely anymore. Oh wait, did I mention that we were doing it remotely? That was the cool part of it. We were getting on their overhead paging system from our homes, and they couldn't kick us off. We could just sit there and be on their overhead system. Basically forever, I guess. But it's weird, they still have the same phones, like the same phones I used in the 90s at all of their stores. It's like the exact same brand and model, it looks really old. I remember Sears was like that too, they used the same phone system for decades. But holy shit, Fred Meyer, it's been 30 years, come on. Upgrade your Hi, shit. Hi, this is Pat from Illinois, just calling with another prank call suggestion. Hey, Pat. I loved your... From uh, Illinois, you don't sound like Pat. From Illinois. Um, fucking Pat. Carrot top phone number prank calls. I thought it'd be funny if you prank called people who have the number that spell out Biden 24 and Trump 24 okay, and tell them yeah, that. I'll bring lots more politics into my pranks. People love politics and their humor. That's the funniest you can possibly be is putting politics into your material. Brad, 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 Brad. Bunch of impersonators on here today. Got someone impersonating Nobby Guy and impersonating this guy hey brad it's patrick from illinois the real patrick just wrapped up listening to the 308th hobisode oh my goodness what a show it was i think you patrick. Uh, alfanzo being a guest host and not even realizing it fucking alfanzo phenomenal. i love how the, the as the phone call got clearer uh his confusion did not get cleared up because he had no idea what was happening uh he did not go to that basement but you know what and look he liked me. We were friends in the end. This is a good opportunity to remind our non-Patreons that you're missing out on a ton of great... You're missing out on Alfanzo, everybody. ...entertainment. Um, the Hobosodes, imagine uh, being able to listen to 300-plus additional episodes... Holy fucking of, shit. ...of, of the Snowplash Show. They're bite-sized episodes. They're great. And uh, yeah, you, you are fucking stupid. 100% missing out if you're not listening to it. What do you think you're doing? And you're a fan of the Snowplow Show. And you're hearing this. I mean, unless you're just wasting your time. Yeah. You're wasting my time? Yeah. Quit wasting time. Are you wasting time. Brad's time? Is that what you're doing? Wasting everybody's Stop time. Stop wasting Brad's time. Okay? Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But it's okay. Hobo Sodes. The way to go. Yeah. All Hobo right, Sodes. Okay, bye, Patrick. You know, at least the fake Patrick, he leaves short voicemails. But it's okay. You were advertising the Patreon. You can... Take as long as you want for that. Hey, baby. I don't girl. have to do it. It's me. Hey. Um, thank you for refunding my shekels from subscribing through your website. You're that welcome. That was really cool of you. Especially Anytime. as I... Uh... I do that a lot because you know what? My website is a shitty, shitty experience. Phonelosers.com. Holy shit. I should be ashamed of that place. 
and I should not be charging people to go there. That's ridiculous. I use it for almost a almost a solid month. Yeah. I will sign up through the Patreon. Thanks. Hey, I love you. Bye. Yeah, I'm taking down the website. I mean, I'm not taking down foamlosers.org, but the membership part of it is uh, especially shitty, and I don't want to deal with it anymore. I think I'm going to try um, signing up through Spotify because they have a membership thing now. Apple's also got one. I don't know if I'm going to do Apple, but I'm definitely going to try Spotify soon, and that'll be the alternative to Patreon. That'll be the brand new, new project, too. Remember that new project, too, we used to use? <laughs> Those Look, were the days. Fucker, I'm on this bill. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Stop Bill. Don't call for Maine. I'm up here in Maine. No, All right. I'm just Thanks for calling, Bill. Can't even understand you. Maybe take the phone out of your mouth. Jeez. Lion 227, hey. Pennsylvania. Da, 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 da. Believe it or not, Roy isn't at home. Please leave a message at the beep. He must yep. be out or he'd pick up a phone. Where could he be? Believe it or not, Roy's not home. Beep. <laughs> okay. I liked your little laugh at the end. That was great. Good morning, Brad. This is Roger from St. Louis. Hey, Roger. Roger with a G. This is your weekly FBI raid. You're, you're pronouncing it wrong, Roger. Currently, there are no FBI raids scheduled for your house. Oh. Have a good one. Awesome. Love you. Bye. Thank you. Good to know. I don't have to put on pants today. I can just walk around in my underwear. No FBI raids scheduled for the day. That's nice. Hello, Bradford. It's me. Hello. I wonder if you ever have considered getting Lanier and, and uh, Spacer to do a... Spisa. It's pronounced Spisa. ...guest on one of your snowplow shows for old time's sake. No, I have not. But if I brought Lanier on, he'd just want to talk about hockey... And Spessa would just make a bunch of noise on the line. Do we really want all that? Come on. Listen up, Roy. I don't know where... The show doesn't have guests. What are you talking about? Listen up, Roy. I don't know where your head is or where your butt is, but you need to buzz off. Okay, I'm going to buzz off. All right. What? Hey, Roy. I, uh, I, I just called. I'm sorry. I meant to uh, say... Um, meant to reiterate. Oh, yeah. You left a voicemail before. I'll just delete that one for you. You're welcome. <sighs> Fucking forgot what I was saying. I've not even. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Okay, so Norm Macdonald is fucking mm. wonderful. Uh, do you, do you, uh, Hell yeah, he is. Just play Norm Macdonald jokes. Fuck the show. Just play Norm Macdonald. Oh, no. it's all I see on YouTube anymore is Norm Macdonald. And oh, I guess he was the one that left that Norm Macdonald voicemail according Still to Brad. this. I'm sorry. This uh, voicemail. I'm sorry I called the other day. I'm sorry to everybody who cares about anything that matters. Like, uh, Norm MacDonald's like death. Norm MacDonald. I kept calling him fucking Tom MacDonald. That's where Tom MacDonald is a rapper. He's a, but forget that. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that was confusing. I'm like, who the fuck is Tom MacDonald? And people in the comments told me who Tom MacDonald was. And I thought you were just being funny. But you were so overcome with grieving that you called him by the wrong name. I understand. Tom been part of here. You know, I did the same thing at my dad's funeral. Norm MacDonald, man. Yeah. Fucking miss that guy. Fucking I, Norm MacDonald. I don't know if there's any jokes I watched that can be a Norm MacDonald thing the other day on his YouTube show. I stopped watching his YouTube show. I forget why. I was watching it when he first set it up and it was a mess. And But I watched this one with Jim Carrey on it the other day. I didn't think Jim Carrey would come on a Norm MacDonald show, but he did. And it was awesome. Oh man, I just suddenly remembered a voicemail that I got the other day when I was going through my emails. Hold on, I gotta find this real quick. We're going to play a recipient voicemail in the middle of our regular voicemails, if I can find it. Please leave your message for... Oh, here it is. I didn't intend to play this on the show, but what the hell? I'm going to do it anyway. I was going through my emails the other day. I answered a massive amount of emails. And like I said before, I found intros. I found drops. I took care of refunds on the website because my website sucks. And I also found a few voicemails, including one from this guy who I don't remember, but he left me this voicemail, and this is going to be my response to him, but I play the voicemail in my response, because I like the voicemail so much I decided to just respond to him. And I called from an out-of-area number. Well, here, just let me play this first. It's a couple minutes long. Please leave your message for... Seven. Hey, Gary, I'm returning your call. You left me a message... It looks like on August 17th. Sorry I took so long to get back to you. Uh, I can't remember what you say. Hold on. Let me play it. Hey, me. I'm going to program an auto dialer to blow up your phone. because. Okay, let's start with that. 
Uh, I noticed my phone didn't blow up. Did you forget to turn on the auto dialer? You might want to check that because my phone didn't blow up. I checked my call logs from that period of time and there was no blowing up of the phone. So uh, that didn't happen. You might want to fix that. Because you've been harassing the shit out of my neighborhood for vaccinations. Harassing? Um, I'm going to take your vaccination and shove it up your ass. And I'm going to find out where you well, live. Is that about as true as that time that you told me that you were going to blow up my phone and that it didn't happen? What happened? What happened, Gary? Because I found your name on the interweb, dude. Look out. <laughs> you found my name. How come you didn't say my name on that voicemail message? That would have really scared me. That would have put the scare into me. Next time, you should say the name that you have. Unless you're lying about that part, too. Like you're lying about the blowing up the phone thing. And the other thing. Name on the interweb, dude. Look out. <laughs> and then you said look out. Like, like oh shit. Th I fucked with the wrong guy. Gary. Gary. He's not the kind of guy you want to fuck with. Because he'll call you up. And leave a bunch of empty threats. I love you, Gary. I'm glad you loved my prank calls. Have a nice day, Gary. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Wow, I even dropped his last name in there. I gotta beep that out. Hopefully I don't forget. But yeah, I was having the VoIP issues uh, that day, of course. This was just a few days ago when I was doing my emails. And uh, I called in from out of area, so I wasn't even expecting a call back. I thought he'd forget my number by then, because that message that I left there came from unknown. But within 20 minutes, he starts calling me back. I didn't want to pick up. I felt like I'd said everything that I wanted to say, why pick up, right? So I ignored it, and then I start getting calls from Anonymous, and I don't pick those up. I think I was busy with something else, or I just didn't feel like talking to him. And he leaves me another voicemail, and I've deleted it already. It's stupid. It was a parody song that he played on my voicemail, which had really good quality. I was able to understand the lyrics, but it was, I don't know, it was like something, like he, he was calling me a pussy. Like it just felt like an old radio bit. Like, that's how he got me back. He called me a pussy with a song. And I think he tried calling one other time besides that. But my phone still didn't blow up. And he didn't say my name on that message. I don't know. I thought it was amusing. Hopefully you guys did too. Fucking Gary. Thinking he's the shit. And maybe you recognize him. Because I don't recognize him. I'm sure one of you guys remember him from one of the previous shows. I remember asking people if they were vaccinated. So whichever show that was. Hey, RBCP. Hey. It's Tim Riggie calling East of the Rockies. Hey, Tim. I was just thinking, wouldn't it be funny if you designed and manufactured a car that you could sell to your listeners mm -hmm. and you could call it the Prank Subishi? Wouldn't that be silly? Somebody would buy it. Yeah. Um, what else? All right. Somebody I do that, please. Invent a brand new car called the Prank Subishi. Wait. Frank Subishi. No, man. Somebody's... You know, just, it, it's great. And, uh, you know, keep it up. Thanks. See you later. All right, Brad, listen, it's the actual Steve Dave again. Hey. I know that logo isn't a bell. It's actually the German Die Glock time traveling machine. And what you're doing is messing with my timeline by calling people at Steve Dave. And I guess, yeah, mints or candy canes, you need to stop flushing them. Oh, okay. I think that's the guy that called earlier and said he was in... Uh, some state or something. Is that the actual Steve Dave, you guys? I have no idea what Steve Dave sounds like. I haven't listened to his podcast in a while now. So somebody go to the podcast called You Tell Him Steve Dave. I assume that still exists, but I don't know. If um, I hi, Brad. Um, hey. It's Ryan from Bull, Connecticut. I listen I'm to this, everyone. Ryan leaving a 60-second voicemail. Call him, say hi. Um, I wanted to to tell you uh, well, two things. Um, I used to call into the um, into uh, well, the number 505-608-6123 uh, uh, and you would hit on two, uh, well, two um, in order to uh, to be on the show and it would I thought you were just like fucking with me and giving out some business's phone number but no that's my phone number. But I, I see that you went and well changed it. Um, how come? Because I have called before and you picked up, but uh, I didn't. But I just it. went and hung up. It's broken. So if you could uh, do that. Um, okay, oh. bye. Yes, I know you're trying to stay under thirty seconds. You you failed, Ryan. You didn't make it. Uh, that number that you read to me—that's with VoIP.ms. They're being attacked. 
by evil hackers. And I assume it'll start working uh, eventually, someday, when they stop attacking my provider. Here, I'm gonna call that up right now. See what happens. Yeah, no nothing's happening. It's just taking forever to connect. I'll hold it up here for a minute. Maybe it'll start in the middle of this voicemail. Hey Brad, this is MC from Santa Cruz. Um, I wanted to say I'm listening to a 2014 show mm -hmm. um, where you play a call from Big Jack TV um, where he has he calls multiple people and then have them talk to each other and say, hang up the phone, no, you hang up the phone. It was just amazing to have have multiple yes. recipients talk to each other, whether it's a hang up or, yeah. I don't know, call two restaurants, have them talk to each other and order, stuff like that. Those um, were the days. Here, that almost like the, um, the, the lines you do where you have a seller and you're, and you're a buyer, but then you also have a second voice, that kind of stuff, but for re with real people. Anyway, thank you so much. Love you. Okay, bye. I don't remember Jag TV actually doing that, but he did a lot of stuff. He's pretty funny. I miss his shows. I don't know what happened to Jag TV. Bring back your live streams, Jag TV, or your prank show. Either one, both. Hey, Giad, get Jag TV. To oh shit! There goes the. Yeah, yeah. I guess uh, that number is down. Ryan from Connecticut. I just got a fast, busy signal on it. Anyway, I think the last time I heard from Jag TV, he was on the Dwight show, and I don't think I was listening that night. I heard it later, and that sucked. We miss you, Jag TV. Come back home. Hey, Arby, it's Bobby Kennedy calling from Canada. Hey. I was listening to episode 720, and you were talking to that guy about genetically modifying the rooster, which kind of reminded me a few episodes back when you were phoning some landlords, telling them that you had uh, genetically modified your pet into a new species. And I meant to uh, phone then, and I know you don't like taking um, suggestions, suggestions over the phone. What? but what I'm going to give you a suggestion. I'm going to do it anyways. <laughs> what you should do is mm -hmm. tell people that yeah. you're... Yep. Your pet has had mm -hmm. a species re-assignment mm -hmm. uh, because mm -hmm. uh, your cat or dog no longer identifies as the species that it was yeah. born as and see how you get the reaction from there because that could be pretty funny. Okay. Anyways, cactus, cactus. Next time I do roosters, I will completely forget to do your idea. It's nothing personal. I just have a bad memory. Hey, Brad. Behold Winker 34. Hey, uh, great right. show. Uh, the Upside Down Banjo one. And, you know, that, uh, that reminded me of something... Now, I'm going to say something that's probably going to blow your mind because oh, you've shit. probably never heard of it, and I hadn't heard of it either before till recently, but did you know that if you Google upside down Christmas tree, that's actually a thing? Like, literally, people buy and put in their houses upside down Christmas trees. Seriously, Google it. They sell I'm them. Doing it. <laughs> so anyway, I didn't know if maybe you could incorporate that or would want to incorporate that in your show's coming up here uh, in a little bit but uh yeah it just blows my mind you just what do they think of next yeah yeah i've seen upside down christmas trees i'm googling the thing right now and yeah they 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 are upside down christmas trees with a stand on the bottom i guess i've never seen them with the stand on the bottom i'm used to people putting them you know hanging them from their ceilings which actually seems kind of cool i should try that this year my landlord would love that and yeah, maybe I can do that someday, you know, the Tenants from Hell stuff. I'm just putting an extra beam up on the ceiling to support the upside-down Christmas tree, that's all. Hello there, Brad. This is John Darnell. Hey! Calling out of Macon County, Georgia. I just had a quick question for you. Um, I noticed on Google you have Brad's Cactus Shack registered as a physical location, a uh, church to be specific, in Rhino, New Mexico. Uh, my question was, if I were to actually drive... Um, I don't think I did that. I think somebody else did that. I mean, it could have been me, and I just don't remember, but I think that is somebody else, because I looked at it on the maps, and it looked like it was just in some guy's yard. To Brad's Cactus Shack, would it be a physical place that I could enter? Or <laughs> you would want it just to. be... you probably get shot. Like, whoever lives there probably doesn't really like the phone losers. There's something that exists on the internet, because I could pull the map that leads me to Brad's Cactus Shack. Yeah. Um, I, didn't, I, was, I didn't do it. Uh, Hopefully you can answer it. It wasn't me. Um, thank you for everything you do and keep, keep, keep You're it You're welcome. All right. I will. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Yeah, I would not suggest going to the Brad's Cactus Shack on the map because from what I remember, it's just some guy's house on the corner and there's a fence around his yard and he probably doesn't want you in there. So please don't get shot just for me. Nobody wants that. It looks like that's the last voicemail I'm going to play. I'm all caught up again. There's a couple in here from the same person. I'm just going to wait on those. Because he leaves a lot of voicemails. 
So thank you, Marcus B., the Prime Minister of Australia, the Sailboat Omni, and Inspector Ratchet. They're the sponsors of today's Snowplow show, and it's because of them and only them that I did a live show today. Nobody else, just them. The place to support the show is patreon.com slash phone losers. Thanks for listening, everybody. Hopefully I will do another show soon unless Gary finds me. You know, he did find me. He found my name on the internet. I need to watch out. Now I'm here to tell you all about this brand new way cool, totally radical, powerfully magical dance that's drastically.